How's it going guys? This is Sean with Virtual Gladiators. I want to take the time to thank you guys that uh, we appreciate your business and being a part of our hosting company. It's a great company to be with and we are definitely glad to have you. Um, what I'm going to be going over here with you today is uh, connecting to FTP. Um, a lot of users have some questions about that and it can be confusing if you do not know how to do it. So hopefully this video will solve any of those questions and definitely help you out to get started on your server. Basically what I'm going to start going out over with with you right now would be uh, what FTP client to use. I know a lot of people use various different clients uh, to access their FTP. Um, the first one I'm going to start out with though is the one that's provided to you by Virtual Gladiators which is on their website. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your web browser and then uh, once it pulls up, I'm just going to go to virtualgladiators.com. And once you get there, um, you're going to go ahead and go over to log into your control panel. Now I have already have all my information saved, um, but what you're going to do, I'm going to log out and then show you how to do this. Alright, so you log in, you type in, um, you don't type in your name, you just type in the email that they that you signed up with and uh, the password that you signed up with as well. And what I usually do is I like to click on stay logged in. That basically allows any, um, or prevents any um, interruption when you're trying to do things over a long period of time. Um, allow IP changes, it just allows if you're running on a different IP from a different location, if you have restricted access, then it won't allow for a different IP, so to speak. Um, anyway, so what you do, type in your information, hit login, and then uh, it'll bring up your servers here. Now, I have three servers. Um, you, you more likely will have one or a couple, depending on your preference. Um, I'm going to use my Flatcraft Infamy server as a example. As you go in, it brings up your main page here, it shows your CPU, your stats, everything. Um, what you're going to want to do to access your FTP is you're going to want to go over here to the server and you're going to click on files. As you see, there's FTP file access. Now, when you click on this, it should bring up your FTP file access. However, if it says you need to set up your I or FTP, it should have a button where you click to automatically generate your FTP um, and it'll give you your information such as your host, your port, and your username for FTP. And then um, basically all you use is your FTP or is your password that you use to log into your multicraft on Virtual Gladiators. Once you use that, you now have full access to your server. Um, what I wanted to also go over with you is, like I said at the beginning of the video, is there are different client hosting, or not client, uh, FTP clients that you can use in order to gain access to your server without having to go through all this. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, you can search for FTP. Actually, let me bring that back up. So you can search for like different FTP um, clients and basically these are all different types of clients. Um, the two most famous clients that you can use for FTP access is FileZilla which is right here and that's free. Um, I used FileZilla for a while but then I found out about uh, Windows SCP which is right here. Bring this over from my other screen and what it shows you here is that it's uh, yeah, you could select, you could save your servers after you edit it. So like I'll, you'll click on new, you'll type in your host name, your port number, your username, your password, and then you hit save. And then it'll bring you back. All right, let me see, I gotta pull that up again. It'll bring you back here, you can name it, you can do whatever you want. All you gotta do, double click on it. Loads up. And then boom, you got that access that I showed you on the website, but you have it remotely. Now this is a third party install. Make sure that you're using a trusted um, software for this, FTP FileZilla. 
and FTP for uh, Win Windows SCP are definitely my recommendations. Um, I love Windows SCP and it's a great program. Um, but yeah, that will like, conclude the video on this tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or concerns or anything, feel free to shoot us a su uh, support ticket and uh, or you know reach us on our live chat when we're available. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy your server. Thanks guys.